below. Today we are going to show you which are the top 10 cutest dog breeds in the world. Welcome to Wellniantrends.com. So, you're ready to get a new dog and you're trying to figure out which dog breed is the best for you and your home. There are many different factors that you will want to take into consideration when choosing a dog breed. You'll want to think about the size of the dog, whether it's long-haired or short-haired and what its typical lifespan and health are likely to be. So there is a list of top 10 cutest dog breeds which can help you on that. Number 10. Collie. This is the quintessential family dog if for no other reason than it's a breed that will always be associated with the famous dog Lassie. It's a dog breed that does well as a herding dog as well as being a good show dog. This tends to mean that it's a breed that's easy to train and that gets along well with others. Number 9. Yorkshire Terrier. The Yorkshire Terrier is a small dog breed of terrier type developed during the 19th century in Yorkshire, England, to catch rats in clothing mills. The defining feature of the breed is its maximum size of 7 pounds, although some may exceed this and grow up to 15 pounds. It is placed in the Toy Terrier section of the Terrier Group by the Fédération Sinologique Internationale and in the Toy Group or Companion Group by other kennel clubs, including the American Kennel Club. Number 8. Newfoundland. At the other end of the spectrum from the pug in terms of size, you'll find the Newfoundland. This is a really large creature but it's often called a gentle giant because it's so calm and nice. In fact, this dog is so laid back that the biggest complaint about it tends to be that it's lazy. If you're looking for a dog that isn't going to require excessive activity but is going to make for a good companion in the home then you may consider this pet. Number 7. Pug. People who are looking to add a small dog to their home may be turned off by many of the dog breeds on this list. The solution could be to get a pug. These are hardy dogs that can hold their own with kids but they are small in size. They are really social dogs that love to play, play, play. They can be a bit rambunctious in their younger years but they are fairly easily trained. Number 6. Australian Shepherd. This is the kind of dog that I had when I was growing up so I can attest to the fact that it's a great dog. The breed is really smart which is a positive thing to see in an animal that is your pet. It's also a loving and loyal breed which is very affectionate. This tends to be an active dog although perhaps not as much so as the Beagle or the Shiba Inu depending of course on the individual temperament of the dog that you get. Number 5. Shiba Inu. This isn't a very common dog breed but it's one that I fell in love with after spending time with a pet of this breed that belonged to someone with whom I was working. Like the Beagle, this is an active animal and only good for homes that are willing to be active with their dogs. The great news with this animal is that it really loves to keep itself neat and clean so you don't have to go out of your way to do extra grooming of it and it's a breed that's fairly easy to house train. It may not be the best dog for a family with very young kids but it's a good choice to at least consider when looking at adding a dog to the home. Number 4. Beagle. The first thing that I have to say about this dog is that I think it's one of the cutest dog breeds out there. It's not always considered to be a family dog because it's a really active breed. The Beagle is a dog that wants to be out and about. But if you have the kind of home that is active and you're willing to get outside and play with your dog a lot then a beagle can be a really terrific companion to have around. You certainly won't be bored with a dog like this. The one drawback is that they tend to chew things up so you will have to invest time in training if you get this dog. Number 3. Chow Chow. The Chow Chow is a dog breed originally from northern China where it is referred to as Song Shi Quan which means puffy lion dog. The breed has also been called the Tang Quan, dog of the Tang Empire. It is believed that the Chow Chow is one of the native dogs used as the model for the Fu dog, the traditional stone guardians found in front of Buddhist temples and palaces. It is one of the few ancient dog breeds still in existence in the world today. Number 2. Labrador Retrievers. 
The Golden Retriever isn't the only retriever that tends to be a great dog breed. The Labrador Retriever is another retriever that does well in almost any home. This is a really laid-back kind of dog that tends to get along with other dogs and pets fairly easily. The one negative thing that people say about this dog is that it can be a picky eater but that may be a small thing to deal with in comparison to some of the other dog problems that are out there. Number 1. Golden Retrievers. This is the first dog breed that comes to mind when I try to think of good family dogs. Perhaps that is because several families that grew up around me all had Golden Retrievers that were practically members of the family themselves. Golden Retrievers are considered to be one of the most loyal dogs that there are. Families like this because the dog is friendly with the family but will also be there to protect the children if they are ever in danger from strangers. Thank you for watching Wellnium Trends. Please subscribe and like for more videos.